Do you know that I am one of the happiest person in the world right now? The reason is that you've clicked on the video. Thank you for clicking on the video. Please, if you are new, kindly subscribe to the channel. Click on the notification button for you to get all my latest videos. Please, I'm kindly asking for one favor. Like this video for me. Comment in the comment section. On this channel, you will never miss any great content about business. Let me know your thoughts about this video that you're about to watch. Guys, remember to share this video to your family and friends, to those people who really want to hear this message. Let's dive into the video now. Hello my people, welcome back to the channel. My name is Unique. On this channel we talk about business, how to create new ideas, also transforming the business. Today I just have one thing which is housekeeping. I'm going to do housekeeping. You know every business needs to look neat and clean so that customers can be comfortable coming to that place or customers can be comfortable to buy things whenever the place is so clean customer always always wants to buy and they'll be attracted to your cleanness they'll be attracted to the things that you do how you put things how you display now today i just want to take you into this journey how i'm going to do the housekeeping in my grocery shop also it took this time to clean the shop alone why because the person that i do work with she's sick so now i just took that time to clean alone while i'm selling while i'm doing some other stuffs so right now we are going to start sweeping inside i want you to join me and enjoy this video as we are cleaning inside and i'll show you how we are going to clean maybe the other side of the shop maybe let me say not here where i am right now but the other side so guys join me let's go One thing that I love about the business is the interaction with the customers, how they come to you, how they talk to you. No matter how moody you are, you're going to change and you're going to laugh with them. Do you miss your business whenever you're out? me i do miss my business whenever i'm going out or whenever i'm not there i always think about the business i don't know if the business has uh, gone into my blood i don't know but i just miss it you know the interaction just like uh, the way i was telling you the interaction from the people and the way they make you smile sometimes you, you can come from home you are moody but you find that whenever you come here or at the business uh they'll make you smile and they'll make you forget about everything even the pain that you you are going through they'll make you forget about so i love the business because a lot of people they come here any kinds of people so it's a good thing For the people who want to start a grocery business, I can encourage you to start a grocery business and you'll never go wrong. This business, it's one of the good business, I'm telling you, if you invest, you're going to get your money back. Unless if you don't know how to invest or unless if you don't know how to calculate because this business involves calculation. So where there is business like this one, I'm telling you, you are going to see that um, you're going to make money, you're going to be interacting with the people, even you're going to create relationships that you you didn't know that you're going to create. You're going to know people that you've never thought you are going to know them. That's the good part of this business. So start this business and you will never go wrong. <laughs> Exclusive from someone. 
always want to keep a healthy relationship with my customers sometimes we do chat with my customers just like the way he was talking to me concerning how hard things are here in africa we are facing bad economy and uh, a lot of people they are they are feeling it so just the way we were discussing it makes me feel good and it makes them feel good They say there are no rules in sweeping or housekeeping. But to tell you the truth, looking at how things they are in the shop, I think there are some rules. Because you cannot start sweeping before cleaning the table, before cleaning everything. You need to start from the from the from the table. This is a shop. And then you remove all the dirty things because sometimes when we are working we get all the stuffs we get the unnecessary things maybe we put uh, on the table uh, because of the busy that we we are all we are always busy in short we are always busy when customers they're inside so if you are the person who is selling you don't know what you're doing you get this you put it back you get this so you find that even the unnecessary things like papers dust and whatsoever is on top of the some of the things but you need to be careful so that you maintain your 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 shop clean and uh, people should not see that the the, there is something wrong because if they continue seeing that this good is dirty it will be so difficult for them to buy your things they will think maybe it has expired or they'll ask you many questions so where cleanliness is that's where people always always wants to be even here you can see there are no flies because we usually clean the shop daily we clean the shop we do the housekeeping each and every day this is our daily routine that we do in our shop here in africa there is so much dust so each and every day you need to check which things contracted dust and which things they did not contract dust because when you look at the drinks that i was cleaning these are drinks juice drinks um these ones each and every day we need to clean them because of the dust i told you to say you need to make sure that everything is clean so that when the people they are there they don't want to see any dirty you attract customers you attract people to be your customers to come to your shop just because on how you take the things or on how you clean your shop on how the shop looks when you are busy the shop is busy and they have a lot of customers in the shop they are some of the things that we misplace they are there where they're supposed not to be so we try when cleaning to put everything in order just like i was getting this packet of sweets try to put it where it's supposed to be you know you need to enjoy doing this you need to enjoy if you cannot love what you what you do then you cannot learn a grocery business because a grocery business is so busy there are a lot of things that are involved this is not just a place where you just need to sit down you watch people they are coming and then you you get the money they go no this is a place where you need uh let me say this is where everything is involved you need to be clean you need to take care of it you need to make sure you check around and uh, sometimes the way you put your things in display shows how neat you are so just like this we were trying or i was trying to put everything in order and right now 
you can see the ground is so dirty and that's me there trying to put everything in order remove this now this is chiwantu here in zambia we call it chiwantu made by maize so we need to remove all this one too and also remove uh, this bucket of cooking oil with a cup upside that's a funnel there and put all these things in order so guys hope you're enjoying this video help me like this video share subscribe and click on the notification button on this channel guys you enjoy everything about a grocery business I think you've seen this bag in my videos. Whenever I'm doing my walking videos, I do carry that bag each and every day. Not only whenever I'm coming here for work, the bag is like a baby to me. Wherever I go, it also follows. Today I was in town, I carried the same bag. Do you know, in that bag, I keep my mics, the one, the one I'm using right now, uh, my lapel mics. I also carry uh, a charger and uh i also carry a what what do they call uh a cable for the same phone also otg things that i use on youtube that's the bag there and my books there so it's easy to carry that bag whenever i'm ordering things in town i do carry that bag <laughs> There is also another washing powder which is also one of the important washing powder here in Zambia. It's called Boom. Wherever you go, whether it is in the rural areas, urban areas, you're going to find Boom and Hippo. These two washing powders, I'm telling you, you never go wrong. Whenever you don't have these washing powders in Zambia, I'm telling you, you are going. They are going to eat you alive, or they are going to skin you alive. Finally, I'm almost done. All what I need is just to carry those shiwantu and those buckets of cooking oil to put them in order. And then I get a broom, start sweeping the floor, and I'll go the other side, which is where the customers, let me say the entrance, where the customers, they always, always come. <laughs> I always pray to God that one day may this business become one of the biggest business here in Zambia. Let this business give more blessings and more goods to me. Because, you know, this business has done a lot for me. I'm telling you, it has done a lot for me. There's a video that I did and I told you to say this business has paid my shit. Because things that I've been through 
hard times good times this business has been always there to offer me in terms of uh, finances so i always pray to god that god may you keep this business for me and uh, may you protect it If there is one thing which can stay on earth, maybe 1,000, 2,000 years, it's a plastic. So if you cannot recycle plastic bags, it's better you burn them. So my plan was to burn these plastic bags, so I was putting them into that sack so that I can burn them. Because what really happens whenever we get those plastics and put them into a, a bin, then you find that it, it, uh, they'll never be rotten, they'll be there and they'll be making the place look like as if it is. Let me say, the place won't look good. can finally say I'm done from this side. Now I need to shift and go sweep the other side, the customer area. Imagine starting your work around 8 a.m. in the morning and ending this sweeping thing around 2 p.m. You can see from here, I've just edited this video because there were a lot of hours, hours and hours. Now I just need to get what is uh, important to say, okay, I was just alone, just like I told you. That's why I finished that time because you see, sweeping and selling it's uh some there are two different things here so i need to attend to the customers also i need to sweep <laughs> have you liked the video yet if you haven't please do i'll give you one sweet <laughs> Just one sweet for you. Okay, I'll give you a drink. What do you want? Biscuit? Oh, I'll give you a biscuit. Like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Please. <laughs>
This is a pure African grocery business and everything which is happening here it's pure African. You haven't seen any fancy thing here. Pure African. I told you that inside I'm done. You can see how beautiful my shop is looking. See how I've arranged things. There's sugar there. There's a lot of things there. Hmm? You can see how beautiful now the shop is looking. Ah, okay, I'm just a bad person, you know? This is a customer area. You can see how the background is. There are things there. And that's me. How I was sweeping. Finally, I'm almost done. <laughs> this time, I was even annoyed to say, ah, I'm not, am I not finishing so fast? Mm? I was sweating like no man's business. You can see me putting those in order, putting things. Ah, <laughs> guys. Okay, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> my grocery store we don't close whenever we are sweeping because of the dust and uh, sometimes uh, because of the customers if they really know that you are there they'll keep on banging the door they'll keep on <laughs> disturbing you until you come out and they they'll say you need to sell us this and that so just like this I spent almost two hours here just sweeping cleaning um, this customer comes and this customer comes you you attend to them take this opportunity to appreciate each and everyone who've been watching my videos since from the beginning guys you are the best continue supporting me and I feel blessed to have you as my viewer why because uh, you don't know what you do to me you will help me you push me to do something great videos like this if they are really blessing you let me know in the comment section